This is Blender. I'm going to make a tent in eight minutes. Let's click general. I'm going to hide the light and the camera. We're going to delete the cube here. I'm going to do add mesh sphere. I mean cylinder, cylinder. And I need this set to 12 vertices. I need a radius of three and a depth of five. Awesome. That looks perfect. Let's go ahead and head into edit mode. In edit mode, what I need to do is go into face select. I'm going to click on the top of this. I'm going to do mesh, duplicate, and just pull up. Now I want this to be zero for X, zero for Y, and I think I'm just going to set uh, 0.6 for Z. Perfect. And now we need to do mesh, separate by, loose parts. And now they're separate, so I want to go back into edit mode. I'm going to click off both, click on the top portion, and go into edit mode again. Let me hide that bottom cylinder. All right, what do we got here? We're going to do face poke faces, and now that we've poked, we're going to do inset faces. Um, that's awesome. For inset, I'm going to say 1.15 is good. Let's go ahead and pull up on this that we just did with our inset, something like this, and 0 0.35 it is. Let's go to vertex mode, and let me click off of it. Click on this middle vertex and just pull up. I'm going to pull up to, yep, 1.6 is good, okay? Now I'm going to select this line, oop, I need to go into line mode, select this line, and then I'm going to do select, select loops, select edge loops. I'm going to do a scale, and I'm going to scale it just down a bit, and I'm going to do 0 0.85, 0 0.85, 0 0.85 is perfect. Okay, this is all looking great. So now I'm gonna actually do select all face, extrude faces, I'm gonna pull down. This is gonna be set to negative 0.7, and perfect, these are gonna be the flaps. So now what I wanna do, let me take a look at the top of this. Yep, and, yep, okay. So we need to go into vertex mode, nope. We need to go into plain mode, transparent, we do not need this left side, so I'm just gonna select all of that, and then I'm going to do mesh and delete faces, and there we go. Let's go out of this, and perfect. All right, this is looking great. So what do I need? I need to be in vertex mode, and I need to pull down every other one of these. So click, I'm gonna hold shift, click. I'm gonna hold shift again, click, and then I'm gonna pull them down. And I'm gonna pull mine down, negative 0.35 is what I like. So I'm gonna now click off of that. And the top of our tent is looking great. So I'm gonna go back into object mode and I'm gonna take a look at this cylinder, turn off the top of our tent and take a look here. What I need to do here is go now into edit mode and I need the selection tool I am going to click these two points. I'm going to do vertex, connect pairs, and then I'm going to click on Z. Oop, there we are. And make sure I only get this one. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click on. That one and hold shift. This one, vertex, connect vertex pair. Now let's zoom out. Let's go ahead and click on X here, let's go to C3 mode, and then face select, select all these guys, mesh, and delete faces. Boom, okay? Let's get out of this mode, let's go into object mode. All right, now what we need here is a modifier. What modifier? We need a mirror modifier. Boom, and then not X, but Y, perfect. And what we're going to do with this is go into edit mode, go into vertex, and we can create a door. Make sure clipping is not enabled. I'm going to grab this, boom, and whoop, we have our tent door. I might actually move it out a little, a little bit just to kind of give it that look. Let's go faces, click on this guy, mesh, and delete faces. Perfect. All right. That's looking good. And now let's go into object mode. Let's take a look at the, yep, we need a modifier on that. We also need to size it up. So let's 
click on to that and go into edit mode. Let's go ahead and do a scale increase on X and Y by like 1.1 should be sufficient and 1.1. Okay. Now I head back into object mode, same deal here, modifier, and which one we want to mirror on the Y axis. That is looking great. Perfect. So let's zoom out a bit. The only thing left to do is add some color, the fun part. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this material, new, and then I don't know, maybe I'll make it, the roof is going to be a vicious color. Oh, we can't see it. Boom. Cool. And then the base, let's make the base maybe an orangish color. Neat. And what's really fun, or what I like to do at least, is have it vary in color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on this top. I'm going to go into edit mode and then every other one. So I'm going to do, I'm holding down shift. Oop, I need select. Ah. And then this back will have a double color on it, two of them together, but that I am fine with. So now I need a new color. I have no idea new. Let's do a this-ish color thing. Oh, that's not that pretty. Oh, well. And a sign. And then let's click off. And boom. And so the front and back are kind of mushed with the same color, but totally cool with me. And then I'm going to click on this guy. I'm going to do the exact same thing, honestly. I'm going to go into edit mode, and then I'm just going to click on every other panel. And actually, I might vary this one like this. And yep, and I want plus, new, and let's see, what, do we have pinks? We'll do a pinkishy color, and let's go ahead and assign. Click off. I'm going to zoom out. I have a crazy looking tint. <laughs> I kind of love it. And head over into object mode. A few other things you could do if you would like. You could do select all, select all. And then I would add a modifier and a solidify modifier. And I would just crank this up to about a three to get your tint a bit more depth. Ta-da, we have a gorgeous tint. If this was useful, make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to hit like, it gives me warm fuzzies. If you want a more detailed tint, I also have a tutorial on that. I hope you made something really awesome.